Hi, I'm Sandra Hawkins and I want to show you how to download and install the Java Development Kit and Eclipse, which is where you will type in your Java programs and run them. So firstly, if you go to Google and you type in there, download JDK in your return. Now you will get back some results. The first one I can see is download Java uh, Standard Edition Development Kit 8 which is that the most recent one as of summer 2020 is 14. So I'm going to go to the next link here, Java SE Downloads. I'm going to click on that. Now, um, okay, so that has gone straight to Java SE 14 and more than likely it will go to the most recent one at the time that you're downloading it. So I'm going to click on JDK Download. That will bring me to another page and what I want to do here is I'll need to pick the download that's compatible with um, the operating systems that I have, which is Windows 64-bit installer. So you will need, may need to change that to Linux or Mac OS, depending on what you have. And accept the agreement and download. Now, that will take a while, so um, I will be pausing this while it, it's downloading or installing and you can do the same as well. You can pause my uh, video just while while that's happening. Now, when there's finished downloading, you can click on the executable down there in the bottom left. And yeah, remove protection and open. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? Yes, I do. Now, just waiting for that to open up. So the wizard, there's nothing that you need to change or anything in it. You can just accept all the defaults. So next and the standard place for it to go. See program files, Java folder. Next and I'm going to pause that again while that's finishing off there. Now that didn't take long. You can click on next steps. It will bring you to any documentation if you want to download for the, the Java development kit. But there's no need at the moment. I will prompt you in later tutorials if you need to. So then click close there. And I have finished with that page. So now the next thing is to download Eclipse. So you'll need to go to the website eclipse.org and you'll see there uh, near the top right, there's an orange download button if you click on that. And then on that page, you'll see Get Eclipse IDE. So the version here is 2020.06, but again, whatever the most recent one is for you. If you have a, a recent version of Eclipse in the last year or two, that would be fine to use as well. You don't need to do this. Now, so I'm clicking on the download link here. And again, I'm just going to pause just in case that takes a little bit of time. Okay, so when that is finished downloading there, you can click on that executable. Again, remove protection if you're prompted for that. And give that a few seconds there to open up the installer. Now in this installer, it will more than likely there be the first one that we want. So Eclipse IDE for Java developers, because we're just starting it. And install, just having a look at what's going on here. Yeah, the folders, that's okay. So you shouldn't need to change anything on this installation either. Just accept the license agreement. And then wait while that installs. And in this installation as well, you just may need to accept anything there that it's asking. Now, when that's finished, um, you can press on launch to open up the Eclipse IDE. If that isn't an option, um, then you should get a, a shortcut on your desktop. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to set up Eclipse with the Java development kit. Um, I think previous versions of Eclipse have done this okay, but this version I had some issues with, so I'm just going to show you what to do. So firstly, when Eclipse is opening up, it'll suggest a workspace, which is a folder where it's going to put all your files. Um, again, you can leave that at the default. You just want to remember where it is. So C users, whatever your, your username is on the machine, and then slash Eclipse workspace. So I'm going to launch that. Now, so when Eclipse opens up, you will have that welcome screen. Um, I tend to close it down, but you may, of course, read through it if you want to. So what e Eclipse is here, I'm just going to show you how to get started up. And um, there's a donate page as well. I'm going to close down that. Um, so the package explorer there, that would be the most common window here in Eclipse. So create a Java project. So you can click on that there or go to the file menu and new Java project. So it's the same thing as clicking there in the package explorer. So project name, 
Um, I'm just going to put a test on this. I just want to show you how to set up the Java development kit. So here, JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment. Um, use an execution environment, JRE. It is suggesting one here. I've had a little bit of trouble with this. So what I'm going to do is use a project specific JRE. And I'm going to click on um, configure JRE. So configure a Java runtime environment. And what I'm going to do here is add in the location of where I downloaded the Java development kit. So I've clicked there on add and then it's a standard virtual machine, standard VM. And now it's looking for the home directory. So I'm going to click on the directory button there beside that. And it's going to be in C program files, Java, C program files, Java. In there is the JDK 14 or whatever version that you downloaded. So select folder. And when that is there, I'm going to click on finish. Now here, I'm just going to make sure that that is checked and not the hotspot one underneath, which I've had trouble uh, running with. So that's why I'm, I'm adding in the JDK that we downloaded and click on apply and close and click on next. Now, so new Java project, so test source folder. And then for everything that I do, I'm going to uncheck the create module info.java. So that's it. Modules are new since Java 9 and we're not going to use them. I'm just going to keep it as simple as possible, but I will explain those in a much later tutorial and click on finish. So my next, now I do have a little X there, but what I'm going to do is the next tutorial is going to be the Java home or sorry, the hello world program. So if you want to look up that in the next one, and I'm just going to see, just to set that little error there. Now I just paused the recording there where I, while I figured out what was wrong and why that little red X was happening there. So just in case you got the same, um, I'm right clicking there on the project and going to properties. So what I've noticed that happens is the library that I got you to add in when I'm creating the project, it didn't seem to work properly. So I've gone right clicked on test, gone into properties and I gone into the Java build path and back into libraries. And I don't see the JDK 14 here, what I was adding in. So I will be doing this again on, on the next little demo. So here I'm clicking on the edit button and alternative JRE, it has there the hotspot, but it should be the JDK 14. So I've changed that and click on finish and apply and close and that red X there is gone. And now any Java files that I add in will run properly for me. Okay. So the next tutorial I will do will be the hello world in Eclipse.